Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'll show you how to optimize your website for a mobile device. I've already signed up for a WebStarts account and I'm logged in and I'm viewing the dashboard. From the back dashboard, hover over the thumbnail to your website and click edit site to open up the WebStarts page editor. By the way, if it's your first time to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design. In the WebStarts page editor, we're going to be working on the mobile version of our website, so click on the mobile icon in the top right. Something to keep in mind when creating a mobile website is that you want to focus on only displaying the most important content because the content will be displayed on the small screen of a mobile device. So having too much clutter is not going to be good for somebody who's viewing your website on that small screen. So if you have things that are maybe not that significant or not that important, be sure to go ahead and select them and hide them. Once they're hidden, they'll appear in the hidden section of the sidebar. You can always bring them back by clicking the unhide icon to the right of the element that's hidden. To add hidden elements to your page, what you'll first need to do is create some space and then what you'll want to do is drag those elements from the sidebar to the place that you want them to appear. You can use the alignment tool to align those perfectly and if it's a text box you can change the font size as well as justify the font left center right. Note that you cannot add any new elements while in the mobile version of your website or mobile editor. You must first return to the desktop view. You can add your design element there and then it will appear in the hidden list and then you'll be able to drag and place it where you would like it to appear on your website. Next I'm going to drag this box so you can see that I've done that. I'm going to drag this text box here too. And I'm going to align that and then finally I'm going to drag this icon into place. A couple of things to keep in mind when working on a mobile version of your website. Make sure that your font size is large enough that it's easily viewed on a mobile phone. And also make sure if you have any buttons or anywhere you want somebody to tap that that's nice and large as well. That way it's not hard for them to find out where exactly to tap to follow a link. To ensure that your page is displayed by default on a mobile device, click on settings and enable the display mobile view toggle that serves the mobile version of your website to your site visitor when they are on a mobile phone. When you're finished, be sure to click save and your changes will be saved and published live to the web. If you'd like to see what your mobile version looks like and you don't have a mobile phone handy, click on View Site in a new tab and then just make the browser window nice and narrow and you'll be able to see what your website looks like on a mobile device. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free online store, website, or blog, whether it be for desktop, tablet, or mobile. See you next time.